may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. So again, there's so much happening today. There's record flooding in Texas and I think Oklahoma. And I mean record. I think they're getting four inches of rain an hour. It's like nothing. I mean, things are happening right now with the earthquakes, the volcanoes erupting all over the earth. Exactly what Jesus said would happen in the last moments. It's all happening, people. We're definitely very close to the rapture of the church. Thank God. I'm so glad to get out of here before these people blow themselves up. It says, end of the F-16s from the U.S. Turkey cuts all trade relations with Israel. Seven billion dollars worth. And Turkey plays a big role in Gog and Magog, so we're seeing all that come to pass too. Turkey is putting a stop to all exports and imports from Israel as, as of Thursday. According to two sources familiar with the matter, told Bloomsburg with the official announcement so far, trade between Israel and Turkey was worth the $6.8 billion in 2023, with 70%, 76% of that coming from exports from Turkey, according to Turkey's agency. Last month, Turkey announced it would limit exports to Israel, claiming that Tel Aviv refused to allow it to drop humanitarian aid in the Gaza Strip. And after President uh, Erdogan, which hates the Jews and wants them wiped out, was criticized for not halting trade with Israel after the start of the war. The Turkish Minister of Commerce announced, you gotta remember, this guy has Hamas showing up at his house all the time. That's why they didn't let him drop stuff in. They dropped them weapons. That's why. The Turkish Ministry of Commerce announced that this time it would impose restrictions on the export of 54 products that could be used for military purposes. The list includes dozens of products, including iron, construction machinery, construction sealants, construction glass, marble, metal working machinery, chemical fertilizers, adhesive, cement, and aluminum. It's a word I can't say, by the way, which there's a lot of them. Yesterday, Ankara announced that it will cooperate with South Africa and support the lawsuit filed against Israel. All biblical people. All biblical. Every bit of it. Threat of sending Western troops to Ukraine is necessary, Macron says. The French threat is to potentially deploy uh, troops in Ukraine is necessary as a strategic wake-up call for all of its counterparts. President Emmanuel Macron has claimed he also repeated his assertion that Russia should be un uh, not be allowed to win this conflict at all costs, he said. The French leader re reinstated his attempt to use a strategic amiability approach to the situation by maintaining that the option of deploying troops was on the table. He first made the suggestion after hosting an international meeting in Ukraine in February. If Ukraine wins in Ukraine, if Russia wins in Ukraine, there will be no security in Europe, Macron stated in an interview by, with The Economist published on Thursday. I'm not ruling anything out because we're facing someone who is not ruling anything out, he told the magazine, referring to Russian's President Vladimir Putin. Macron claimed that he, the supposed deterrence uh, produced by the hypothetical deployment of French troops is necessary to prevent a Russian victory and to fend off future attacks on other nations, despite Moscow denying that it has any intention to do so. That's a lie, too, because they're, again, they're literally positioning troops with Belarus at the Sawaki Gap. That's happening. So that's a lie. Despite Moscow denying it, it has any intention to do so. He also tuned, turned to the argument of, of sunk cost to explain why Kiev must be supported by Western states. What credibility will there be for Europeans who would have spent billions with the survival of the continent at stake? 
and now have given themselves to the means to stop Russia, he asked. Critics of his, uh, on his take on the plan, uh, diplomacy claim that he has already, has already backfired with the leaders of the Western nations rushing to assure that they will not have boots on the ground in Ukraine. Moscow has stated that the interest in the conflict is existential and it would not compromise its goal, its core goal, regardless of the West's course of actions. Russia officials have cited NATO creeping expansion into Ukraine, Kiev's uh, discriminatory policies against ethnic Russians and the increasing influence of radical nationalists in the country as, they, as the key triggers for the conflict. In the interview, Macron held the French role in the failed attempts to resolve tensions between Russia and Ukraine after 2014 armed coup in Kiev. The process was supposed to, to evaluate Moscow's concerns and forge reconciliation between the Ukraine government and the breakaway regions on, in the Donbass. Together with Germany, we are responsible for saving the Minsk agreements and the Normandy process, the French president said. We were right to take the dip diplomatic route. These steps and undoubtedly slowed things down, enabled us to build a joint European dem demands with regard to Putin. Senior Ukraine and uh, European officials have described the Minsk agreements as a ruse to give Kiev more time to build up its military with NATO's help. Moscow has cited the bad faith dealing as evidence of the West's intention to ramp up the standoff with Russia. And they do. That is in the plans. That's what you're seeing. Says Poland's conflicted on nuclear weapons. <clears throat> Poland could be left exposed to Russian attacks, a senior official had warned. After Warsaw saw it would host NATO nuclear weapons on its territory to boast of its alliance of Eastern Europe strength against Moscow. In April, Polish President Duba, Dude, Duda said Warsaw was ready to host nuclear weapons to strengthen the alliance of the Eastern flank. Polish Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs told Polish media on Monday that the Duba should have consulted with the government first and that the comments about hosting nuclear weapons uh, opened Warsaw up to risking Russian missile strikes, which is true. Should NATO alliances move to put, or allies move to put nuclear weapons in Polish territory, Warsaw should say yes, but such a situation has never happened before. Duba said late for April that there's no decision has been made yet regarding NATO nuclear weapons. Well, they just signed the papers and sent them to the United States to host the weapon. So, see, like I said, anything that comes out of their mouth is usually a lie. Uh, more than two years ago, or two more, or two years of the war, Ukraine has spurred NATO countries in Eastern Europe close to Russia's territory to invest heavily in their military strength, although they do not possess nuclear weapons. Within the alliance, the U.S., the United Kingdom, France have nuclear weapons, but several European bases host U.S. tactical nuclear weapons, including Turkey. Russia, which has the world's largest nuclear arsenal, said in June 2023 that it had started transferring tactical nuclear weapons to Belarus, a key Russian ally that borders NATO countries Poland and Lativa. Now, that is where the Russian and the po and the Belarusian troops are massing, is right on the Sawaki Gap. You'll hear a New York Prepper talk about this quite often because he's watching it like I do. This gap is about 90 miles. NATO knew that they'd have a hard time defending. It's mostly mountainous. But it's 90 miles. Belarus wants to take it. Why do they want to take it so bad? It sits right in between two NATO countries, which is Lithuania and Poland. It's a 90 mile stretch of nothing but mountainous hill, basically. But they got to take it. And that would link up with Kilingrad. Kilingrad is literally Russian territory. Filled with nuclear weapons, and I do mean filled to the brim. It's got tons. They know in case of a war, and they know war's coming. Russia's not stupid. They already know NATO troops are on the ground. They know this. Even though the American people believe anything that their press tells them, that we know there's troops there. They know it. They know world war is coming, and they need to get a link between Russia and Kilingrad. The only way to do that is through Belarusia, through the Gap, and link up there. They're not going to be able to go through the air because NATO's air defenses will take out anything that comes in the air if we go to war there. And the sea will be cut off from them with American subs. 
So they know this. So they got to link up on the ground. So they're planning on taking that gap, which is also an invasion of NATO territory. So it's like you're, it's there no matter which way you turn. There's going to be a world war. There's no stopping it. There's just, there's no getting away from it. The seven year tribulation, there's no bunkers you can hide in. There's a massive earthquake that literally shakes the whole planet. Anything that you're in underground is going to just be destroyed. That's what's coming, people. That's why I tell you, the key to this is the rapture to get out. That's why Satan wants you to not think, know that the rapture is real. Because he don't want you leaving. He wants you down here with these little guys as they all die in mass. Because that's what people are going to do. They're going to die in mass. The first 48 hours of World War III, billions of people are dead. Billions. They never get a chance to be a tribulation saint. Never get the opportunity. While they're sleeping, this thing happens. In many places of the world, people will be asleep when World War III happens. This is not like World War I and World War II. I keep telling people that, but they can't get it out of their brain. They just see troops coming up on the beaches. That stuff doesn't exist anymore. China can sit back and just release, hit the button, and destroy the United States in five minutes. That's it. No troops. Or it just takes one. One EMP over top the United States at a perfect level. The United States will kill itself. People will kill themselves. It'll put us back in the Stone Age. And it's this close to happening. It's this close. And it's coming. May, nay, no. Get it out of your head that it's, there's going to be a peace. It's not coming. I'm telling you right now as I'm sitting here, this is coming. We've already been shown it. God wouldn't have showed that many people if it wasn't coming. We're at the end of time. We keep saying it over and over. Warsaw supports NATO's actions and initiatives designed to strengthen the alliance's nuclear deterrent, not at least the nuclear sharing program. The Polish defense minister told Newsweek in a statement on April 22nd, the program refers to leveraging nuclear weapons for the collective defense. In the context of worsening, worsening security situation, especially threats posed by Russian Federation, including it's uh, in the nuclear sphere. NATO nuclear deterrence is an important factor in ensuring the security of Poland and its entire alliance, the ministry said. See, Polish Minister Kolarski said in late April that Polish president had discussed nuclear sharing with a conservative law and justice party with with which uh, Duda is allied, is, ally, is aligned, the party's left government late last year. Duda said, I think it's how you say his name, Duda, said that uh, he invented current, uh, he said he has invited current Prime Minister Donald, Donald Tusk to discuss the possibility of Poland hosting NATO weapons. Well, they just signed the thing, I think yesterday, for the, to get the weapons. And the event, U.S., Nuclear weapons appear in Polish soil. The relevant factories will, uh, or fa my goodness, the relevant facilities will mainly be added to the list of legitimate targets to be hit in the scenario of a direct military confrontation with NATO. Russian Foreign Minister said. So, like I said, it's all lining up right around May the eighth. God showed me the alarm clock in there. So it's all there. Now the question is. What do we do? Number one, you grab Jesus by the leg right now and you don't let go because this is coming like a tsunami. There's no stopping it. There's no getting away from it. We're going home. And that's a good thing. Right now is not a time to be fearful or anything. It's the time to get excited. I know I am. I've been happier today than I ever been. I know the world's coming to an end and I'm glad of it. And I'm ready to get out of here. There's nothing down here I want. I'm ready to go home with Jesus. Can I get an amen? This is a great time. Prophecy being fulfilled, all of it's there. All of it. We just got to get ready to go home, people. This is it. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. He died, was buried, rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. Trust the blood of Jesus. If you're lost, call upon him today before it's too late because we're leaving. And we're leaving soon. If you call upon him, believe what he did. He died on the cross for me and you. He shed his blood for me and you so we could spend eternity with him. 
You have free choice to do this, but it's all there for you. And all you got to do is believe and trust in him, and you're sealed to the day of redemption, which is probably any time, because we can pretty much see it. They're on the verge of destroying the planet, and we're on the verge of going home. Ain't it a great time to be alive, people? There's nothing better than what's happening right now. We're going home. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here each and every day. Thank you for bringing me into your household. For all those that bought me coffees, the ones that bought me super stickers, God bless each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.